Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And uh, obviously, as you guys can tell, this is a little bit of a different setting and that's because I have something pretty unique to show you guys. Uh, it's this right here. And basically what this is, it is a portable espresso machine by a company called Handpresso. Uh, and there's a little bit of a story behind this. A friend of mine actually messaged me on Facebook. Um, they copied me in the video uh, of this particular machine and asked if I would go ahead and pick one up because they were interested in seeing how it worked and um, my opinion as to uh, if this is something good, something worth picking up. Now I can tell you, uh, I'm not a big coffee drinker and for the most part, I won't actually drink like a whole cup of coffee, usually I'll have it like a shot of espresso. So for my taste, this is perfect because it does exactly what I need it for without having to have a big machine or anything like that. And again, it's very portable, which is really cool too. So if you're the type of person that enjoys a little shot of espresso here and there um, with you on a regular basis, you can take this with you traveling, you can take it to the office, um, or you know, you can just have it at home and use it as well. Now this is going to be a two-part video. The first one is I will obviously show you guys what all is included when you purchase your um, portable espresso machine, and then I'll show you guys how to um, you know brew up a little cup a little cup of espresso using the machine itself. So this is the packaging here. Again, portable espresso machine. Uh, espresso anywhere and you do get a different uh, couple color options now uh, the company was gracious enough to ask me which one I wanted I went ahead and chose the silver one but again they have a couple other options uh, they actually have some more vibrant colors on their website as well so you know definitely check them out if in case you guys are interested now um, this will work with either um, coffee grounds or um, like these little espresso packets that are ready-made um, I haven't come across any of those, so I'm using just regular coffee grounds that I have back there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, as you open this up, you have yet another box in there. So we'll set the big one out of the way. And again, it says hand press on it. And you just slide it out. And there it is. A little bit more packaging. So you have your instruction manual here. Uh, and then these are the uh, dome pods, are the, the little packets, pre-packaged, espresso packets that I'm talking about. Now inside of here, you do have a spare O-ring, and then you have an area to put some notes, and you have some instructions in a bunch of different languages. Now it's really cool because you have both the figure instructions and then the actual written ones on the side right here. Uh, but again, it is uh, pretty easy to, to use. You just, uh, first time I do suggest that you kind of follow it through just to make sure that you're, um, you know, getting all the steps the way that they should be. So I'm actually going to set this to the side to follow as I go as well. And then you have your um, warranty information right here. Now underneath here, you have the machine itself. Now, obviously, I've already removed some of the packaging because I have tested it out already. And this is it right here. This is your hand presso portable espresso maker. Uh, it has a nice weight to it. It definitely feels very quality, which is really nice. That was one of the things that I did want to check to make sure um, is that it felt, um, you know, obviously that you're going to be able to use it over and over and over again. It didn't feel cheap or plastic or anything like that. This is actually um, uh, an aluminum tube right here. And then everything else, um, you know, all the, all the, little markings and everything are pretty legible and stuff like that. So it definitely does feel like it's really good quality. And then you have your little branding right up there. Now, this is just uh, another little piece that was actually inside. And this is the one that you would use with those um, ready-made packets. But since I don't need that, I can go ahead and set it off to the side and I can start using it. All right. So that is pretty much everything that comes with your portable espresso machine. Um, on the inside here, as you go ahead and take off this piece, uh, you rotate it to where it's unlocked and this will actually pull out. So you have your little dish right here, which is where your coffee grounds are gonna go. So these are the different parts. So you have your lid, your little coffee um, ground uh, receptacle here, and then obviously the main um, unit there. All right, so let's go ahead and brew up uh, one of these. So as you follow the instructions right here, and again, I'm just kind of going through the little pictures here. The first thing that it tells you is to make sure that um, this little piece is pushed up all the way. Uh, because again, this is going to be locking it out. This is the final button that you push to actually brew the coffee. So you want to make sure that it's pushed all the way out to this position. So basically, wherever you have your gauge right here, you want to make sure that this is pushed up that way. 
Now, the pump right here is actually locked out. So all you have to do is rotate it and then that will unlock it. And then you start pumping. Now, this is what's gonna give you the pressure to go ahead and make that espresso. And as you pump, you'll see that the needle right here is actually going up. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna get it all the way up to the green right there. So uh, just keep pumping it. It's gonna take a couple of pumps. It says about 10 pumps, but it just depends on um, how much force you put into it to kind of get that needle all the way up to the green. Again, that is your main goal to get that needle to the green. There is a little bit of a red mark after that. So if you guys get to that red, you have pumped it too much. So just make sure that you keep an eye on it and you will start to feel some resistance as you start getting closer and closer to the green. I'm almost there. Uh, and that should do it. Uh, let me see if I'm in frame. There you go. So as you guys can see, so now I just push it in and then lock it back. Now it is locked and in the green there. All right. So you can go ahead and set this down. Uh, you can set it this way. Just make sure that you don't push on that little button. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and fill this little receptacle with your coffee grounds. So I have it here. All right? And it tells you to go ahead and fill it all the way up, but to make sure you pat it down so that it is flush in there and you don't want it to be sticking out too much. Okay, and I found that basically just kind of running my fingers over it does the job there. All right, so that is now filled with my coffee ground. And the beauty of this is that you can go ahead and find um, whatever coffee grounds are best for you. You just gotta make sure that they are nice and fine. So um, once that is done, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up the actual machine with hot water. Now I have some water in this cup right here. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna actually put it into the microwave here for a little bit. But um, that is the only extra step that you do have to have a way of having hot water at hand to be able to go ahead and fill it into the, uh, the receptacle right here. Now, as you guys can see right here, there's like a little star shape. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up with water until it gets to that particular point. Um, now it does seem like it isn't a lot, but again, all you're doing is you're doing a, a shot of espresso. You're not doing a whole cup of coffee or anything like that. This is again, a quick pick me up of espresso that you can put in there and um, it's gonna you know, do its job. So that's uh, nice and hot, about 30 seconds to heat up that water. So now basically just pour it in there, again, up to that line, up to a little star shape in there. All right. And then once that's done, go ahead and grab your little receptacle here with your coffee grounds and put it inside. And then you're gonna grab your lid right here and close it up. And basically there's a little mark right here on the side. You see that little white mark? You just gotta make sure that you're going and locking it to that port portion right there where it's locked. So once this is done, now it is ready to brew. All you have to do is flip it over. And again, this is the button that's gonna go ahead and activate it. I have a cup of coffee right here so all you do is just put it over and uh, just try and, and put it in as close as possible to the the cup because again this is going to go ahead and brew it and shoot out so just push it down and there it is it is brewing it and you just want to make sure that you get all the water to go through the coffee grounds right there all right once you're done just push that button back up Go ahead and turn it back around. And there it is. Uh, it actually has a little bit of foam in it too, which is really nice. That is your cup of espresso coffee. Very easy, very quick, um, very portable, which is really nice. And it is ready to go. You know, you can add some sugar if you want to or just drink it straight up like that. So as you guys can see, um, it definitely is very easy to use. It works exactly as advertised. Um, I've already brewed uh, about four or five um, cups of, uh, of espresso and every time it works exactly the same. It's very easy. You just pump it up there, you know, 10, 15 times as long as you get the needle up to the red. Um, put your coffee grounds in there, put your hot water in there, and you're good to go. So there it is. That is the portable espresso maker from Hand Presso. Again, here's the uh, a look at the packaging here. I'll go ahead and leave a link to their website below if you guys are interested. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.